What up, y'all? Uh, just telling a quick story. Um, I was following a little suit of one of the homies that's on here. Uh, I'm going to speak on the night that I got shot at, uh, or one of the times that I got shot at. But this is how the story went. I was at Chocolate City, which if y'all know in Denver, back in the day used to be a cool little spot. It was off of like Kipling and like almost Colfax or somewhere. I never went in the club, but I was outside parking lot pimping, as we call it. Um, but all of a sudden, I leave there to go home. I live on the east side, and if y'all know where Kipling and Colfax is, it's a little bit of distance. Um, but what ended up happening is I get on Kipling take Kipling all the way to I-70. I get on I-70, going towards home, towards the east side. When I get on the highway, I notice that two cars, are the same two cars are kind of like in the same two lanes with me doing the same kind of thing I was doing. So I didn't pay no mind at first, but then as I kept going, uh, I went to the pilot, and if y'all know what the pilot is, it used to be it used to be a gas station and Wendy's, and everybody met there at the pilot usually after the club. Um, so I get over there, the same two cars pull up in that pilot. So I'm thinking, okay, maybe these fools is hungry too. So I drive, go to uh, it's me and my cousin. We go in the drive through. I see the two cars park over there in the parking lot and they backed up. So I'm still looking. Now me and my cousin are talking like, man, I think these two cars is following us for some odd reason. And I don't know that my radars went up. Like, it just didn't feel right. Um, but we ended up getting our food. It was a night nobody was really out there kicking it because usually we'll go to the pilot and be sitting out there kicking it. Wasn't nobody out there on this night, really. So then... You know, we get the food, we heading up uh, Steel Street, going towards Martin Luther King Boulevard. Again, if you know Denver, you'll know these streets. You could probably even Google it. Um, but we get to Martin Luther King and Steel Street. There's a light right there, a red light. So when I get to the red light, I know I live to the right towards the east side. The other way, that's going towards where the Bloods are living at or their neighborhoods. But so what I did is I got to this light. I put my blinker on to the left like I was going to go towards Colorado Boulevard. So the car, well, let me wait, go back. So the two cars pulled out after us. One car jumped on the highway. The other one kept coming. So I left that part out when we left the pilot. Um, but now, so then, all of a sudden, the one car jumps on I-70, the other car keeps coming. So I get to that light on steel, and Martin Luther King put the blinker on to go left. I'm looking at the car. All of a sudden, when the light turned green, I turned my truck. I was in a big 76 Ram Charger. Turned to go towards the left, and then turned right real quick and stepped on the gas. Now, I'm, I didn't took off in this big old truck. Um, as soon as I did that, all of a sudden, I was pow, tick, pow, tick, 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 choo, 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 choo. So now I'm like, oh, shit, like these fools are shooting at us. Uh, so me and my cousin, we ducking, we going. Uh, so I'm going towards the east side again. So all I hear is just now, the first one, I think, hit the truck. The other ones are just flying by. I'm doing probably about... 80 down Martin Luther King and I'm flickering my lights the whole time. I'm driving it like flickering my lights because you had the little, the button was on the floor where you do the bright lights. So I'm like flickering and flickering and flickering because all I'm thinking, if I hit something, a car going past York Street, which is a little bit further down, or a car hit me, it wasn't going to be good. But if you know, like, again, if you grew up in Denver, there's a dip on York Street. Um, 
So I'm flying through there, and it was crazy because I'm sitting there doing all that flicking, and then I see a little bit further up, I see a police car going back, going across on another street somewhere. I think they might have seen the little flashing lights, but they didn't see the flashing lights. But anyways, I didn't flew. I'm flying. I made it through that York light. Thank God. Making sure, hopefully, I mean, like I said, thank God that nobody was there at that time. Uh, the food kept shooting, but then I got down to the east side, and all of a sudden I made a little right turn away from the street I lived on because I was on 30th and Williams. So I turned, instead of left to go to 30th and Williams where I stay at, I turned the other way. As soon as I turned the other way, dumb foods kept going straight. So I don't know if they saw the police in front of me too that was going by that street, and maybe they figured they couldn't do nothing. But uh, no, it was just, and then I got to the house, I mean, it was a, a, a scary little moment. I mean, I give it to you, but uh, I did find out who did it. And I'll tell you about that later.